Hey comic fans, Dave here at Ground Zero. It's Wednesday morning. That means it is time for your quick look at what's new on the shelves at your favorite local comic book store. Now, you may have noticed a strange sense of foreboding in the past week or two. A, a vague sense that something was wrong with the very fabric of the universe itself. Well, we are here to explain just what that might be, because it was four weeks ago today that the fifth and final issue of King in Black was released. That's right, it's been a whole month without a major eventy book from Marvel. Can the universe survive this kind of stress? Well, Disney is not going to take that chance. So this week from Marvel, we get Heroes Reborn from Jason Aaron and Ed McGinnis. Now, honestly, I don't think this book is going to do quite as spectacularly well as King in Black, mostly because it's a lot of fun and also because it totally rips off the premise from DC's Flashpoint. But Flashpoint was really, really good. So if you're going to rip off a competitor's storyline, pick one of the better ones. So good going, Marvel. I approve. Uh, either way, in this book, we've got a Marvel Universe with no Avengers, with no Doctor Strange, no Captain Marvel. Most of the major Marvel heroes that you recognize are not here. Tony Stark is still selling guided missiles. Um, so who's taking care of the Marvel Universe? The Squadron Supreme. Now, just in case you don't know, the Squadron Supreme is Marvel's version of the Justice League. It was created back in the 70s when fans really, really wanted to see a Justice League versus the Avengers, but Marvel and DC couldn't get along, so Marvel just created their own. So Squadron Supreme, AKA the Justice League, is taking care of the Marvel Universe in this book, and it's not going well. Luckily, we've got one person one person who knows something is amiss, so we've got Blade standing on street corners going, this ain't right, y'all. So how are they going to fix it? Well, we've got a handful of issues to figure out. So actually, a lot of fun, kind of a cool premise. I love Flashpoint, so uh, give this one a try. And just because you watch this nifty video, I've got a small number of these cool packs of Heroes Reborn trading cards. You can get one just for asking, rip them open, trade them with your friends, put them in your bicycle spokes. Either way, you can pretend it's the 90s again. So there you go, Heroes Reborn. Uh, also from Marvel this week, uh, Carnage, Black, White, and Blood. Now, just to answer some of the parents' concern comments, this book is not actually printed in real blood. Uh, although it's Disney, so they totally could if they wanted to. They could absolutely use the blood of their competitors. But as far as I know, they do not. So thank you, Disney. Another making good choices. Um, another one from uh, Disney Marvel is Star Wars War of the Bounty Hunters Alpha. They are promising huge, huge, important things with this book. Supposedly everything that has happened in the Star Wars universe is building towards this very book. So all the way back to, you know, George Lucas's premiere of the Star Wars movie in 1977 was just setting the stage for this one book. So miss it at your own peril. One more, one more I'm going to mention from uh, Marvel, even though there's several more back there. Uh, and that is Strange Academy, because I really like this cover. It's got a lot of cool nifty colors. And plus, this is a really good week for the letter S. So there you go, Sesame Street fans. Letter of the week, S. Over at DC. Now, now, if I mention Miracle Molly, you're probably thinking, was that that ska punk band I saw at a dive bar in Boston? No, no, it is a brand new character premiering in Batman this week. Although, actually, yeah, it probably was that ska punk band you saw at a dive bar in Boston, but DC is taking it because they need the name and they're, they're running out. They've created so many new characters. Um, this is following the usual pattern. She actually had a very, very tiny cameo a couple of issues ago. I think it was an earlobe, maybe. It could have been an elbow. Elbow or earlobe some random body part, but now we get to see all of the body parts, and she's here. And what makes Miracle Molly so special? I haven't the vaguest idea, because I don't care. But doesn't matter, because everybody else cares. DC doesn't care whether I care or not. Um, for all of those of you who do care, Batman is in this week. Uh, also, speaking of caring, uh, the second issue of the Batman Fortnite crossover is in. Now, I don't have a lot of copies, and I'm going to explain why, because you all remember a couple of weeks ago, we were limiting this very diligently to one copy per customer, trying to get them in the hands of fans who wanted them. And yes, we got yelled at a fair amount, but it went, I thought, really, really well. We had made so many parents happy that came in because their child actually wanted to collect and read this book. You know, maybe it was just for the codes, but either way, that's great because it gets comics in the hands of new readers. That is our goal here. We even offered, in most of those cases, to sell them the remaining five issues. So we'd have them waiting for them. And a lot of them took us up on that, which means I only have a couple of copies left on the stands. But don't panic, folks, because they're doing second and third printings of these books. 
Honestly, if you're going to need pay and paying 25 bucks for this, you are a fool. There is no reason to. There will be new issues of this coming out. They're going to make sure everybody that needs it gets a copy, gets the code, whatever the case may be. So there you go. Um, it's in this week. And honestly, we, we even had a few parents say nice things about us on social media. Do you know how rare that is? Social media normally for us is, is people angry about crimes against humanity that we committed, you know, questioning the parentage, if my parents were actually married or not, um, and suggesting new names for Ground Zero. So Ground Zero is not going to change its name, although admittedly, the douche cave is really good. We're, we're giving strong consideration to that one. But for now, for now, we're keeping it the same. Uh, also, one more from DC, because this book I think needs more love than it is getting, and that is the second issue of Green Lantern. Honestly, it's got great art, it's got a solid story, uh, great premise, good writing. This has everything you want in a superhero book, and it's in this week. Moving over, away from the big two, uh, from Image, Noctera. This may very well be the last time I mention Noctera, because it's selling great. Um, Tony Daniel and Scott Snyder have a bona fide hit. I think this gains new readers just about every day. Third issue is probably where I'm going to start selling out. We'll see. But, but either way, picking up new fans all the time, just exactly what you want in a comic these days. Uh, I'm loving it. Everybody else is loving it. Noctera, if you haven't jumped on the Noctera train yet, or in this case, really, truck. If you haven't jumped on the Noctera truck, this is your chance. Um, also, from a bad idea, third issue of ENIAC. And no, I don't know what this is going for on eBay. I don't care. We've got it for cover price, uh, as always, from Bad Idea, one per customer. Um, going back to Image, we did get in second printings now of Silver Coin number one. I sold out really, really fast at the first issue of this, and I had a lot of people wanting second, you know, wanting more issues. Uh, so anyway, here it is. So if you missed it the first time around, I've got it now even more red on the cover. Uh, from AWA, we get Marjorie Finnegan, a uh, temporal criminal. Now this is from Garth Ennis. Supposedly it is a kinder, gentler Garth Ennis which is probably to say not very kind or very gentle at all, because it's still Garth Ennis. Um, I don't think those two things are actually in his arsenal of tools, but either way, it's a brand new character. Maybe it'll be a TV series someday, and it's out this week. Uh, I'm gonna move over to trades now, uh, just a handful of kind of disparate trades, because uh, we get in the Batman Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3 crossover, uh, finally available in a soft cover. For those of you who've been waiting for the more affordable soft cover version, it is in, in Honestly, can you get any hotter than Batman and the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? No, you absolutely cannot. Uh, skipping over to Marvel, uh, Dead Man Logan, The Complete Collection. So for those of you who were not all that impressed with Dead Man Logan, The Incomplete Collection, The Complete Collection is here, and it's in one, I don't think I'd call this massive, but one fairly thick trade paperback, so the whole thing all in one convenient volume. Convenience, give me convenience or give me death little Dead Kennedy's reference for those of you who remember the 80s. Um, okay, uh, moving over to something completely different. We get from Alison Beckdale, The Secret to Superhero Strength. Now, if you don't know who Alison Beckdale is, she is an absolutely iconic figure in the indie comic creator scene. Uh, very important. She, uh, she's the author of Fun Home, which is one of those just really important books to read if you want to break out of the Marvel DC box. Um, that's her. And... Uh, Author of a lot of other works, but this is something I believe brand new from her. Out in a hardcover, haven't had a chance to look through it yet, but honestly, I'm going to still recommend it just on her name alone, because uh, it's important work. Uh, another thing I haven't read, but I'm definitely going to recommend, uh, we actually got a couple of these last week, but the remainder of our shipment should have this week, from Barry Windsor Smith, apparently a very personal epic work from him that he has spent years doing called Monsters. I am taking one of these home. I am super, super pumped and excited. Well, I haven't had a chance to read it, and honestly, it's thick. I would have had time. It is gorgeous. The art in it is really, really beautifully detailed. I am so looking forward to reading this book. So even though I haven't read it yet, I'm going to recommend it because I have faith in what Barry Winter Smith can do. Um, one final book, saving maybe not the best for last, but certainly a book that we have really, really been needing. Um, back in the 50s, the EC comic line was hands down the best, best comics being released. Uh, Weird Science, Vault of Horror, Frontline Combat, they released so many epic, important titles. They were actually making comics for grown-ups. Now, 
This, of course, could not stand. It led to all sorts of accusations of corrupting the youth of the nation. Uh, Congressional hearings led to the Comics Code Authority. A whole ugly, sordid story. But while they were there, they were something truly, truly special. Now, even though all of their books are exceptional, the biggest brand name is unquestionably Tales from the Crypt. I have people ask for Tales from the Crypt all the time. But mostly all we've ever had is is relatively expensive $50 hardcovers. Now we finally get a cool uh, trade paperback for, I think, $20. Um, Either way, this is excellent, excellent work. Um, Iconic work. Honestly, if you have not read these, you must. They are just essential comic reading for anybody interested in comics history, anybody interested in horror comics, anybody interested in in really great artists, uh, Wally Wood, Harvey Kurtzman, Al Feldstein, so many giants of the industry in that day. All together in this book, I hope they release everything EC put out in these affordable trade paperbacks. So we're gonna stock it just as deep as we can. I expect you to buy this so that hopefully they will make more. Okay, that's actually it. Uh, Obviously, I only hit the highlights because there's a lot of stuff in this week, lots and lots of books. Um, But time is definitely a consideration, so I'm going to stop right there and leave you with our usual, and that is if you don't have what you want, don't worry and don't fret because it's not about having what you want. It's about wanting what you have. Folks, stay safe. We love you. Thanks for joining us.